Hello and welcome to week 41 of this 52-week series for the Web Pro on what every web administrator needs to know to be successful in this space. My name is Scott Forsyth, and today I want to talk about Notepad, potentially one of my favorite applications, most favorite of all time, believe it or not. It's so simple, it's so elegant, but it's there on all servers, on all client workstations in the Windows world, and it's immediate access to get into it. It opens up most everything. Occasionally I use WordPad if something has Unicode characters, but for the most part, I really do use Notepad almost all the time. And some people say, well, why aren't you using Notepad Plus or some of these other or Ultra Edit, some of the other tools? And I do from time to time, but I go into so many generic machines, uh, servers in particular that don't have anything installed, that I just really do revert to Notepad in many situations. So I want to show two quick tricks, or just a couple quick tricks, on how to access the line numbers and some gotchas that have gotten me over time. And I understand a lot of people know this, it's not news for anyone, but uh, for, for many people it is. And so I hope you find this useful. So let's take this, I have a real large document here, and I want to be able to find what line number I'm on, and also let's say I have a request to jump to line, let's say 2000. So if I go under edit, look at this. The go to is grayed out, so something's up. And I remember the first time I ran into this, I couldn't figure out for the life of me because I was sure that the go-to had worked, and all of a sudden it wasn't. And also the view, there's a status bar, but it's also grayed out. So why is this? It's inconsistent because sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. Here's the gotcha. Under format, word wrap. If word wrap is enabled, you're not going to have that functionality. If you disable the word wrap, then all of a sudden your status bar exists. Now we see the line number in the column. And also the go-to is back. So there's your kickers under the format. And so let's let's just go to the end of the document. We can see we have uh, about 11,500 lines in this particular document. And if I want to go, I can do Control G. And let's say I want to go to line 2000. And it jumps us right there. And also, it, it occurs it's also here under Edit Go To, if you, don't, if you don't remember the shortcut. And finally, one other minor thing is if you hit Control G on a particular line, the what it populates here is the line number that you're on. So 2033 is the line that we're on. Of course, you can override that and go to 11,000, let's say 500, close to the bottom. Let's go to the very bottom, Control-G. Look at this, 11,589, 11,589. So it works. So very simple tip and trick today. Uh, the kicker is watch for that word wrap. You can turn on the status bar if you want. And if you do a go-to, it will populate with the line that you're currently on. Essentially, giving you line numbers here right within our favorite simple tool, Notepad itself. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you again next week.